A war on Christmas is happening as we speak in the halls of Congress. We sent our Adam Longo to see for himself this festive combat. What's going on, my man? Hey, Reese. So what's happening here in the halls of Congress in the Longworth House office building is symptomatic of what's happening in neighborhoods across America, right? An arms race, a Christmas battle. Your neighbor puts up an inflatable, then you've got to put up an inflatable. Then a reindeer in Santa goes up and you've got to do that too. That's exactly what's happening here between members of Congress on the second floor of Longworth. Now the House is not in session today, so you can see members of Congress energy conscious, unplugging their inflatables as they are home in their home districts right now. We're outside of the office of Mike Gallagher, who's a representative from, from Wisconsin. Dude has gone all out. You're going to meet him here in a second. This is an amazing piece because the level of trash talking between members of Congress over who had the best holiday decorations, simply legendary. Take a look. What is going on on the second floor of Longworth? Well, on the second floor of Longworth, we have decorations galore. And we're in effect, it's, it's become kind of a competition as to who can you know, have the most elaborate decorations. It's Congressman Mike Gallagher here from Wisconsin. You've gone all out this yes. year. Can you just take me through this display, especially this piece right here, I find particularly interesting. Well, I would say, first of all, the fact that Crow and Perlmutter even think they could win this competition shows you how deluded they are. The best decorations are from the Perlmutter office uh, here, uh, and Coloradans would be very proud of us. And I would say they also tried to sabotage us. Crow tried to take our reindeer at one point. You know, one day our snowman's deflated, our nutcracker is gone, and I kind of had my suspicions. Perlmutter was intimidating my team by just saying we should give it up and get out of the game. They tried to, to you know, win by certain skullduggery, but that's not gonna happen this time. We're prepared. So despite that, we've held ourselves to a higher ethical mm. and aesthetic standard. This uh, puts you in the lead, by the way, at least in my eyes. Well, this is Miller High Life uh, that I'm, I am duty bound to offer to uh, people that are visiting my office, the, the, the champagne, yeah. it's a champagne of beers, uh -huh. uh, and what better way to celebrate Christmas than by opening the champagne of beers. As we walk down the hallway here, your, uh, Crow's office is right next to yours. Yeah. So you walk by his office, maybe you do a little muttering under your breath. Yeah. Crow's I give like a C plus, okay. I mean it's, it's fine, it's just, you know, nothing memorable. Mary Gay Scanlon uh, from Philadelphia, she's got this giant snowman that is a Philadelphia flyer called Gritty. I do respect the Wawa rapping. Yeah. As someone who went to college in New Jersey, Wawa was an integral part of my life. So I, I do give points for the Wawa. But before. this right here, are you familiar? This is Gritty, the Flyers mascot. Okay. Uh, and as a Washington area sports fan, yeah. we despise Gritty. Yet well, here he is, adorned in the hallways of Congress, offending the rest of us. Automatic disqualification. I, I think. think it's yeah. grounds for rejection judging. from Congress, yeah. uh, as yeah. a matter of fact. And then here uh, we have... Uh, Pearl is this Perlmutter this over here? This is Perlmutter's office. Yeah. I talked to him on Zoom this morning. Yeah. He said that this was in the bag. And then right out of the gate, he started talking trash. Even if somebody were chosen by Jason Crow or Mike Gallagher or Mary Gay Scanlon, they still would have had to pick our office. Okay, a snowman. Yeah, got it. Boring. Um, okay, this is the saboteur. This is the saboteur right here. Tried to steal our reindeer, Jason Crow. I, I did. I, I did not steal anything. You tried to. We were, he was just, we were relocating he was it. He's caught this, in the act for safety. There are the major safety concerns in this hallway. Please. I said I give yours a C plus. It's a good effort, but ultimately <laughs> uninspired. Wow, that is really impressive. First of all, all Gritty needed was some victims around him, some people to terrify, and I would have definitely been Team Scanlon. I, uh, points for Perlmutter for offering skullduggery because we need to work that back into our lexicon. Uh, my question to you, Adam, because I know you're going to be the arbiter of this, which of these designs yeah. most perfectly represented their jurisdictions? That's where I would go with it. Yeah, well, it would be a toss-up then between, well, well, all of them. Sherry Bustos' display, who I'm going to show you in just a second down the hallway, hit it out of the park. She's from the Quad Cities, Southern Illinois, a very rural district. You mentioned Gritty. Gritty would have been right down the hall in front of Mary Gay Scanlon's office. He's gone, disappeared, not even deflated, just gone. 
we may or may not have had something to do with that. Now, as far as Perlmutter and his uh, skullduggery, this right here is Jason Crow's office, okay? He's also from Colorado. Perlmutter's team has hung ornaments on Crow's tree with pictures of him, all sorts of pictures of him doing things, okay? So then right here is Gallagher's office, right? He's still got a full Miller high life in the chair here, if you can believe that. And Bustos' office down the hall, listen, if it was not a democracy, if it was just my vote, she would get it. There are handcrafted displays there on the halls, okay, and the Santa on the John Deere. Listen, Representative Bustos is not only a, a parent of three, not only an athlete, not only a reporter, but a graduate of the University of Maryland. So she would get my vote. But listen, I want to take you through the top four. Take a look at our video right here. The top four vote getters are as follows. Number four, Sherry Bustos. Number three in the top right there, Gritty and Mary Gay Scanlon came out of nowhere. Ed Perlmutter was second, so your winner, roll the tape. Representative Mike Gallagher and his staff wins the WUSA 9 Longworth House Office Building Challenge. Their decor, listen, frankly, it's pandering. There are so many inflatables. Every possible thing you could throw at Christmas is here, including the beer. So they are definitely going at the beer lovers. But I got to come back out here live and let me show Rick. you this. I, mean, I don't respect I don't respect crafted. the results of this election. I don't respect the results okay, of this listen. election at all. That that's cool. You can say that, but as I've been telling folks who have been voting on Twitter for about a week now, there'll be no recount. I don't care if you think the election is rigged. I am the ultimate arbiter of this thing, and what I say goes. Mike Gallagher is the winner. We'll Where's present the him cheese? with some sort of Trophy. Where's the cheese? It's a, <laughs> all I need is a wheel of cheese, and I'm with you, Gallagher. We got hey. We got a cow. If that, oh. Is that good enough? <laughs> okay. We got Santa cow. I mean, not yeah. only did Pearl Mutter give you skullduggery, he also gave you sabotage. And if there's anything that I truly believe in is the spirit of the holiday season, it's sabotage.